I'm one of those cats, you know, I'd rather not to eat good food, save my money to get the good gear. Because, check this one out, if the guy is a surgeon and he's cutting somebody out, he has to have the best knife, you know, otherwise it's just not working. I love large format because I'm totally on mine. And I have, uh, I work with the, uh, I didn't put this one just uh, to show it to you. So it always is here, it's just part of me, it stays here, you know. I see them as part of myself. So the eight by 10 is, is, is a main, main course. Then I have a four by five. Then on medium format, I use Hasselblad. And uh, I have other different size of the format from different, from Chinese version to the Toshiba 100. And then I own 35 millimeter, or uh, good Nikon with amazing lenses. And um, a lot of box cameras, a lot of pinholes and a lot of toys and anything I can capture some image film, I use it. Dude, I'm never going to go away. Believe me, there is no way it's going to get more expensive. The film going to be boutique. And you get to be elite with some money to shoot film, you know. No, film, please don't ever say that. It never film this life. So film is Kodak gives us a uh, hectare, lazy little bit. And the Fuji is coming there, films get better. And we get access to film from Eastern Europe. And the colors are like, we lost Akfa, we mourn for Akfa, you know, and, but we lose our parents, I lose my hair. <laughs> so losing is a part of game as an artist. <laughs> this is really a lot of gear, but one thing I want to tell you, the reason I am a, I'm a photographer, because on, on making images, it's just love making. I really don't believe in orgy. So that's why I'm really one man show, you know? But sometimes I love to have somebody help me out, you know? Sometimes I get some students, they wanna just hang out, they carry my gears, you know? But basically me, so. But now I'm getting older, I really need somebody to carry it, you know? And eventually I will find somebody, you know? It's when I go with my eight by 10, I can shoot only 16 shot because I don't have a place to change the film, reload the film and all stuff. With four by five, I'd be able to do it, but not with eight by 10, so I'll just be need the bigger changing box, I don't have. <laughs> now you take your G12 and you shoot it, you know, after our years, you're definitely confident about your exposures. I never had the doubt on that, but we used to shoot Polaroid, and, and then uh, look at it and determine exposure. That's why we got all hooked up with 455 because it was positive, negative, and you look at your negative and you would make decision. Kubrick used it when he was making 2001. Did you see him with his Polaroid 55 is looking and the oh, exposure is right, exposure is bad. I want to separate this work and show it in one time, but I'm, you know, as an artist, again, when it comes out to showing your work, you don't have that much control because it's not your space and a lot of people are involved around you to work, you know, gallery owners, curators, and all they have opinion. They sort of trying to mix it a little bit, which uh, eventually I want to have just just it, the, my writing and stuff, you know, just, just one show in my writing, that would be awesome. The scanner now, since I don't have access to analog quick arriving to, uh, to my contact sheets, I use the scanner to see what image I got. If I like the image, I go to downtown LA, there is a space called Translight Color. You rent a dark room and you print and uh, or you make a file i mean this is scanners are cannot make you a good file damn so you, if you want to technology is so young if you want to make a good scan almost decent you have to have amacon scanners which is like 20 grand you know but these are just like going to in and out quickly satisfying your <laughs> food rather waiting in a french restaurant to serve your food 
<laughs> How I got there, don't ask me. So. <laughs>